Welcome back to the High Sierra Report. Thank you for joining us. We have a new face in the studio you have not seen before. Mylan from the Landing Resort and Spa. And talk about hype. This has brought a lot of hype to the South Shore because you're the only five-star resort in the South Shore here. Yeah, definitely. So, so give somebody an overview of the, of the resort and then what you represent a little uh, more intimately is Jimmy's Restaurant. So uh, get us started on, on what somebody can expect. Sure. So, you know, we're definitely proud about the fact that, you know, we're the first five diamond five star resort in South Lake Tahoe um, and the amenities that we offer, you know, shine that really brightly on a spotlight of a guest when they come in the door from mm -hmm. how they're greeted to the rooms, to the spa experience, to the fitness center, to obviously the view of Lake Tahoe, which oh, yeah. we all appreciate, you know. Yeah. Um, and then specifically in Jimmy's, uh, me and Maria Elia, um, who's a, a celebrity chef from London um, and really known for kind of elevating Greek cuisine from the farmers and, and local culture to fine dining, uh, coupled with my experience in California cuisine and farm to table eating and, and all the things and, and philosophies that go along with that mm -hmm. has kind of created a real nice mesh between the two food styles right. and uh, le leads us to uh, you know present this Greek California wood rotisserie menu that is unique to Tahoe but really unique um, you know to most cities in America. Right. Okay. You touched on your your experience. Give us a little background at how you got started and and how you acquired this role at the landing. Sure. So um, I went to culinary school um, at Western Culinary Institute in Portland, Oregon. Um, and upon graduation from there, I went down to George's at the Cove in La Jolla uh, and worked with Trey Fauché there and got an amazing experience. Um, it was my first real kind of chef uh, running a restaurant job. Uh, we got to do some James Beard dinners, uh, got a lot of publicity. He won uh, Best New Chef uh, at Food & Wine Magazine right after I got there, which wow. was a tremendous experience as far as education right. and, and mentorship. Um, and then from there, I went on and took over an executive chef job at Crow Canyon Country Club, which is in San Ramon. Uh, and then at the tail end of that uh, job experience, I uh, started a restaurant consulting company, which I owned for five years and then sold off to a financial firm out of Chicago. And during that time, developed uh, you know freestanding, um, high-end restaurants um, mm -hmm. across the country and also did existing property uh, renovations and stuff like that, like you'd see Very on cool. one of the TV shows. Yeah, that yeah we were joking during the break about restaurant impossible stuff like that. And you, you sort of come in, give them that tough love and, and that advice that they don't always want to hear. But so you can take all of that advice that you learned over those five years, you said that you had that consulting company, bring it with you and, and, and working under chef of the year, all of that combined, bring it right to the landing at Jimmy's. What's your, what's your, one of your most signature dishes there? Uh, you know, I mean, I, the menu changes on a ba daily basis. Oh, cool. um, that being said, there are there are several things that we like to keep in a pretty steady rotation. There, um, some of them uh, come right out of her book that we'll t we'll touch on in just a second. Um, we definitely we have a beaten apple salad with a feta cured puree, a hazelnut and apple dressing that just will blow your mind. Um, we have um, a bunch of different types of keftetas, which is a Greek style fritter uh, Ooh, made with okay. vegetables, uh, yeah. fish, all sorts of stuff, and you'll see that in and out. Uh, and then we're doing um, some unique ingredient stuff. I got a rabbit baklava on my menu right wow, now, which okay. is really, really cool. Um, I also have um, some octopus tentacles on there, which <laughs> the guest experience has just been blown away uh -huh. with. They're like, I've never had octopus cooked this way. I thought it was tough. And, and we're, so we're allowing some people to kind of rediscover some of the things that maybe they can't get up in uh -huh. Tahoe or, or, or are new to them again with some, the flavor profiles. Some we're very doing. eclectic dishes there. You touched on the book, Smashing Plates. We're going to come back right after this break, talk about this and how they locally source a lot of their food here off of the Lake Tahoe watershed. We'll be back after the break.